there, my name is Kathy Herbert. I'm an Instructional Technology Specialist for Northeast ISD. I want to talk with you for a minute about uh, giving students feedback on their work in Seesaw. So there are several different ways that I can give students feedback. So any work that has been turned in or is currently in the journal, I have these options below so I can like it, I can send a student a comment. If I click the comment box, I actually am able to add a voice comment um, to respond to their work. Um, I, this little T uh, chat call out is for a private teacher comment. Students and parents will not see that one. So I can give feedback directly to students using these features. Um, I really encourage you to use the voice comment feature, uh, especially in the case of distance learning. Another way that we can add feedback to students uh, or give feedback to students is by using um, digital stickers. So I'm going to show you um, two ways or one way that you can do this. Um, it's really easy and free. So I'm going to use the Bitmoji extension for this. So the, to get the Bitmoji extension, you're going to navigate to your uh, app icon and then to the web store. When you land in the web store, you are going to type in Bitmoji and you'll find the extension and you're going to add it to Chrome. So uh, once I have added the extension, I am able to uh, extensions live up here in this the top right of my browser bar and to open it, I just click it. You may need to uh, also add it on your mobile device to set your Bitmoji up for the first time. Um, because the editing of the Bitmoji needs to be done on a mobile device. But then once you do that, you're going to see a variety of Bitmojis here. So I'm going to just type in a search term and find a Bitmoji that I like. And when I find one I like, um, I'm going to right click and either copy the image or save the image. Um, once I've done that, again, any work that is sitting in the queue for students, I can go ahead, I can do this before I approve or after I approve. So I have some work here that's waiting for approval. To go ahead and uh, add a digital sticker, I'm going to click the three dots and click Edit Item. And we are going to um, paste that sticker in by doing Control V. I can resize it. Uh, move it around wherever I want to put it, but just kind of add something on top of the student's work. Um, so I would uh, do the green check. Once I've added the Bitmoji and I go back and approve the work, um, I would probably add a, a, um, a voice comment here as well to give them some feedback. And then when you approve it, the student will see the item on top and be able to listen to your voice comment. So hopefully that was helpful. It's just kind of a few little things. Um, feedback also doesn't always have to be a great job. It can also be take a closer look at this, that kind of stuff. I will just give you a mention. Just be careful when you're searching uh, Bitmojis and dropping them in. There are some that are can be inappropriate. So just look at the Bitmoji, of course, before you actually um, post it on student work. So hopefully that was helpful.